When you arrive in Kinnick Stadium, you know what's in store. Hard nose, toughness, defense, and you better bring your hat and be ready to strike somebody when you come into this black and gold cauldron to take on the Hawkeyes. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Huskers will kick it off to get us underway. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Hawkeyes offense will have the first possession of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of this big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Finds his tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think a sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. Quick completion to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. He's looking to throw. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. Yeah, and the quarterback didn't have a chance. I mean, when you get to the QB that fast, Jesse, you're still processing information, for goodness sakes. And you're getting to the sideline whenever this drive is over, and you're asking for help from your offensive coordinator. You're asking, hey, can we slide our offensive line and help out blocking this guy? Can I get a tight end to stay in and maybe get a chip on this dude? Because I'm not feeling too comfortable right now back there knowing that we're trying to only block him with one guy. Fires a bullet, now it's picked off. Takes it the other way. He's at the 40. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Husker! What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. It is one thing to come up with the interception. No, 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 don't stop there. Turn it into a score. Make a big play and don't be content. That's right. Go out and make an even bigger play, and he does it. He makes the pick and then takes it all the way back to the house. Looked like a wide receiver, for goodness sakes. Turning on the Jets, making the big play. Getting set for the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one.
They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. To throw, it's McNamara. Fires to the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Handoff to the lone back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Cross to 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. Gets it out to the 40-yard line, giving five on that one. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. The Hawkeyes have this offense rolling. He wants to throw. Fires to the big fella. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. And the Hawkeyes have it with a first and ten. They'll give it to the back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Snags it over the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. It's Johnson. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? We've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got his man on the right. There was tight coverage, but a perfect throw and catch, and they've got it at the nine first and goal. The offense threatening, close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. The aerial assault continues. He caught it, and he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. They're going to run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. The defense trying to make a stand on third and goal. Back to pass, it's McNamara. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Cornhuskers' offense will have its first possession of the game. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot, he's in the hole, he's there to do his job, and he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. Leaves it with the running back. Getting that push. A pickup of four out to the 26. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Out of the crowd and now he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And the Huskers have it with a first and ten. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Boy, this freshman quarterback has a hose. Did he zing that thing in there? The Cornhuskers have their offense in high gear. They'll try the run. Breaks the tackle. Using that running game to bludgeon forward, he's got four down to the 35. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Keep it on the ground. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Nebraska's had a lot of guys to feed over the years. Mike Rozier, Roger Craig, I am hip. 
but you don't know who's going to get it with this running attack. Yeah, but I do know this, Reese. Whoever gets it is going to run the football physically, and Nebraska is going to be very happy. Their fan base will be jacked if they establish the physical ground game because that's who they are. That's caught. It's Nair. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field? You got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. Down to the 16 yard line, it's first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Running back goes in motion. Wants to throw. It's Rayola. Got it. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. And after giving up that completion, guys, I wonder if the defense is going to decide to stay in zone or maybe mix things up a little more man coverage, maybe blitz. The Huskers are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Nebraska! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise on the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. An 84 yard drive there and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're lining up to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Iowa has the ball back on offense. The handoff to Johnson. On the move at the 30. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the tight end. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Well, this quarterback is going to have to be precise with his timing and his accuracy. He's already thrown a pick. That one got swatted away, guys. We're only in the first quarter. These windows are tiny to throw into. After misfiring, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. Got out of trouble and throws. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Early in the game, I love getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. You've thrown them 4,000 times. Not big shots, but just put you in nice positions on the next downs coming up. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Gets away from one. Finds some space. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Off the RPO complete. They stop him at the 22, 15-yard pickup on the play, and a first down just outside the red zone. 
Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Off play action on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Iowa. I don't know what play they called, but I would call it again because the defense had no idea what was going on. Receiver comes wide open, catches the football, and gets the easy touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Back and forth we go on these last couple of drives, David. Everybody moving the ball. Man, these offenses are in a rhythm. Everything they're doing right now is working, a lot of scoring. This puts a lot more pressure on your offense, Palmer, when you walk on the field. And at this point, too, David, which defense can break serve, right? Who can get a stop? That's what it feels like is going to be the determining factor in this game. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's Rayola. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. We're through one period, and these receivers are showing out big time. Take a look at the stats. Always a treat to be here at Iowa and take part in a special moment. Hope these kids enjoy the rest of the game as we play on into the second quarter. They're testing the right side here. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. Quickly to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. The give to the tailback. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Right back to the well. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. To the air. It's Rayola. Quickly complete. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Everything seems to be working for this offense right now. And if they keep this up, 
this could get ugly by the fourth quarter. And the Huskers will snap it on first and ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Brought down after picking up three down to the 22. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. The Cornhuskers have it with a first and goal. And that ball is intercepted at the goal line. Inside the 50. 20. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! How about that D coming up with a play like that? What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field, keeping it on the ground with the single back. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to throw, it's Rayola. Zings it complete to the right. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Trying to move them on the counter. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. The counter play is a great play to mix in because defensively, you, you, you're not looking for the counter. You're looking to attack, attack, attack. All of a sudden, two guys pull across the formation. Now you've got to change your direction really quickly, and it keeps you off balance and really keeps you on your heels. Looking to pass on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Mayer. Stopped at the 44 after a five-yard gain. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver staring at the quarterback all the way across the field, that time the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And now on second down for this offense. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. 
Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air, it's Rayola. Got his man on the right. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. The Huskers getting set on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. And the Huskers will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. <clears throat> and he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. And great recognition by the corner. That touch pass, after he throws at the quarterback, it's a pass. He can't throw it forward again. Nice job understanding that, flying up, coming and making a big tackle in the open field. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. Trying to punch it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. So loud, it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you've got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Paul. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, rolled these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. The field goal is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kick. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Looking for a crease to the left. Nice move to keep running. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. They'll give it to Johnson. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Back to throw. It's McNamara. Got it set up on the outside. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. No screen plays. You really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got going but just got tackled before he could really do any damage. Movement here from the tight end. 
They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. The Hawkeyes are rolling down the field. Single back formation and they give it to him. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Give to the running back. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's setting his tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, this offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the bat. He right now is running with authority on this drive. And that will be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. To the ground with the back. Tackle is made after the first down. This is an offense that prides himself on being physical. So you need one yard. Just hand it off to your back and let him go to work. And the Hawkeyes will line it up on first and ten. It's reverse. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. I got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Looking to pass, it's McNamara. Going for it all. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. He took a shot at the end zone, and he almost picked it off. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Pressure coming. Under heat, he gets rid of it. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. After making one field goal, he'll need a little distance on. This one, a 40-yard try coming. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Banks. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver. Just understanding, I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy. And I know I'm going to get contact. You run over the middle of the field on a slant, you're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Comes out throwing on first down. Grabbed on the outside, it's Fidel. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. 
This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend him. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. Dropping back, it's Rayola. Gonna let it fly. Makes the grab inside the 30. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. And let's put up points today. What do you say? Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something figured out. to attempt to try. And the extra point puts them on top by one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a big play up top going 63 yards to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Iowa has the ball back on offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Fires to the wideout. Got his man all by himself. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Going up top on first down. Fires to the right. It's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in a first half. Scanning the field, it's McNamara. Complete downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Well, we knew coming into this one, the tight end was a big part of this offense, and you've seen it early in this game. They've moved him around. They've thrown it to him in a lot of different ways. Defense is going to have to make some adjustments trying to stop this guy. The Hawkeyes have it with a first and ten. Grab behind the line. It's Lachey. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You got to get him involved. He's looking for a man on second down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Now with just a few seconds left, not enough time to run another play, but there is time to kick a field goal and take the lead. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now they regain the lead. gives you a little boost going to the locker room and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And the returner goes down. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. 
on point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Looks as if we are set to crank it up here in the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They ought to have some confidence based on that first half performance, but they certainly can't let up in a game like this. And I think this possession is really, really important. I say that because they had a lot of success, but they're still losing because the defense can't stop anyone. They need to set the tone here in the second half. And it's exactly that, David. you got to create momentum here early in the second half. You only do that by going out, marching the ball down the field, and scoring right away, trying to put pressure on the opposing offense. It's a draw. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20. A pickup of five. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback? You want to fly upfield every single play? We'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Shoots it to the left. And they fail to hook up on third down. When you get the incompletion there on third down, you've still got a half of football basically to play. Do you trust your defense down one possession to get it back to give you a shot? If you don't, you've got to stay out there and you've got to go for this and you've got to dial up your best play to stay on the field. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Power football with the run. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. reverse that play just never had a chance they knock him down for a loss of five for an offense to make the wide receiver reverse work you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out run to try to make the defense over pursue but no oscars being handed out on that. on third and long you'll have to turn it loose deep and the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And that's the thing about this defense. Yeah, they may be losing the game right now, but they've got difference makers on that side of the football. they got guys that can step up like that, create havoc, get a sack, create negative plays. They're going to need more of that here in the second half if they're going to win this game. And the Hawkeyes will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. They'll leave it with him. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine.
Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Looking for a man. It's Rayola. Gets it out quickly. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. You saw it all in that last play. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. Huskers will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. They go to the ground. Makes the stop at the 32, but he picks up 10 on that play. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man. It's Gill. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen. The offense stars those plays where they want to get their playmakers the ball, and the defense understands it as well. I got to know, when that guy comes in motion, he's a legit threat. They did, and you could tell. They pulled the trigger and went and made a nice play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Finds a tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. There. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. He's going for the big play. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. The Hawkeyes will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. The give from the gun. Powers through the defender. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Leaves it with the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And this brings up a third down and identical situation, right? Like, do I want to be physical? Do I want to run the football? Or do I maybe want to take a shot? It's always interesting. These situations in football always come down to aggressiveness. How aggressive do you want to be? Because, Palmer, you kind of know what kind of coverage you're going to get. 
Yeah, and I think for this running back, too, knowing him, he, he's just super competitive. He's going to want an opportunity. And the pass is intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And the Hawkeyes come to the line in the hurry up. They go to the ground. Mark it off as a six yard gain down to the six yard line. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with the pads. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. The handoff to Johnson. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. The Hawkeyes have it in scoring position on first and goal. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Yeah, and it's tough being a quarterback near the goal line like this in the red zone. When you're throwing the ball, these windows are so tight, and you got to try to fit it into some tightest windows on the football field. Very difficult to do. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Just making life miserable for opposing quarterbacks the way Trev Alberts always did. Yeah, just finding a guy that can sniff out the quarterback and kind of feel it, have those instincts. You could tell he saw it, went and got it, just like your boy Trev Alberts, Reese. It's still third and goal. He's looking to throw. He's got him still on his feet. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. So here comes the field goal unit once again. They've already kicked three tonight. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal let's see what the defense can do and he takes this from inside the five not a lot of space to be found good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21 the Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense one of the most valuable things a quarterback can have David short term memory just forget that last pick you're dang right clear the mechanism it's over move it behind some players can't do that real well and it leads to more mistakes jesse you got to just forget about it and move on and i think the coaching staff can help him too david i think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws the offense set for a first down play they'll go to the ground 
And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. You've got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making the play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's really tough to convert in third and long situations like that. Not a lot of play calls. They're going to be going up against the coverage with a lot of dudes on the back end expecting pass. So they're going to have to do a better job the next time out keeping these third downs manageable. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just needs a crack to get a return. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Unloads quickly. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. Running back searching for a hole. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Right back to the well. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Tips, deflections, those are such good things for defense. A lot of times they lead to interceptions and big plays. Just try to get any kind of disruption you can. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's McNamara. He'll let it go to the left. Grabs it inside the 10. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. And the Hawkeyes are moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw. He caught it! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. Looking for the score. Throw into the end zone. And it's picked off. We've just seen in this game, the ball has just gotten away from him a little bit. A couple of times, just hasn't been able to put it where he wants to. And as a result, that's now his second pick thrown in this game. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. The give to the back. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. 
And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. But I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Sometimes you wonder if rivals really don't like each other. This guy sure doesn't like anybody on the other side. He's tackling everybody. And that's the kind of defender I want. The guys who don't like people. They love collisions. They love to throw their body around Jesse. He's been all over the field. And this guy's good week in, week out, right? But in this game, he just seems like he's more dialed in. And he's playing at a different intensity level right now than I think anybody else on the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throwing right. Got his man downfield. They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Got him downfield. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Well, the receiver was able to make the catch on the slant throw, and then he got north right away. He creased the defense with his speed, picking up extra yardage after catching the slant. The Huskers will have it first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wide out. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Off play action. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Trying to run it in. Touchdown, Huskers! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. Pass is incomplete. No good on the two-point conversion. They tried to stretch this lead out to a field goal, but they're still up by one. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. 
Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out and execute the offense. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. They move the tight end all over. They'll give it to Johnson. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. And I think that can be really frustrating for a defense. You're in your own end. You want to create some space, second and inches, trying to get physical, but can't get physical enough to get the first down. Now it's third down. What do you do now? So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Lost the defense, he's wide open. Speeding down the left side. Touchdown, Iowa! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And that is phenomenal quarterbacking. Understanding right away, dude, you're going to bring pressure. I'm getting the ball to my playmaker right now. Let him do the rest. Let him glide into the end zone. May make me look really good. Good timing. Good decision by the quarterback getting it out for him. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Through the air, it's McNamara. And the sticky fingers allow them to grab the two-point conversion. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 75 yards to House. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, running back on the move. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20. A pickup of five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Looking left. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you could tell he extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Caught close to the marker. It's Fidel. Gets it to the 42-yard line and that's a first down. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fellow, you put him in the slot, Try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. And the Huskers come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Wide open on the move. He has it on the jet sweep. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Here on second down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. From the gun, the running back has it. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You've got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. 
you run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Now, he might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run. Now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. Back to pass. It's Rayola. He got the toe down. That's going to look spectacular on his social media, but not so much for the down and distance after he loses yardage. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. They go to the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offense trying to catch him off guard a little bit, running that draw play, but the defense wasn't fooled. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they're able to get the tackle for loss. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. That's caught. It's Mayer. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Between the uprights, it's good. And look, obviously you would have loved to score a touchdown there, but you did the important thing. You kicked a field goal, you're now within one possession. Can your defense get you the football back, and can your offense drive the field and put it in the end zone? This is what you practice for. Let's see if they can go execute, fellas. Putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Iowa has the ball back on offense. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking for a man. It's McNamara. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going, too. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try to power their way ahead. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? You've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Hard running there. And the ball's loose in the backfield. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that right there, probably the biggest play in this game so far. The offense has the lead, and they're just trying to run the football to run this clock out. But the defense able to knock it out, jump on it. Now, all of a sudden, this game has a completely different feel. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. He wants to start this drive with a pass. 
Catch in the middle. It's Fredon. And he's knocked down immediately, but they're in the red zone at the 14. And you got to love the versatility of the big fella. You can put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Here's the handoff. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. At this part of the field in the red zone, offensively, you're bringing all these tight ends in the game. You'd like to be more physical at the point of attack. That's why you're bringing the big bodies in, but they couldn't get it done up front, and as a result, it's a negative play. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Makes the grab on third. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. You got to be impressed by what you just saw from this offense. They're already in the red zone, right? The coach is telling the quarterback, be smart. Don't do anything crazy with the football. We can't turn it over. We're already in field goal range. And he's like, no, nah, man, I got my matchup one on one. I know where I'm going. And not just that, I'm not just going to get the first. I'm going to set you up now on the goal line. Let's Touchdown, Nebraska. They've got the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. If he makes this one, the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Handoff from the gun. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Pre-snap motion, quarterback trying to get a read. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Makes the grab. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. I know we're a long way up here in the booth, but guys, y'all remember that ball you could throw that whistled? That thing was whistling. It had so many RPMs on it. The Hawkeyes are in the hurry up. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Lachey. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target. And that's the tight end. Nice job. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the wideout. 
And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help you. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They need to get a little closer for a field goal try, and they've got to do it in a hurry. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Feeling some heat. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. And the Hawkeyes will call on their punt team. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Wide open downfield. And they bring him down, but did you see this freshman rifle that thing in there? I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Now on first and 10 from the 26. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll try it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. It'll be a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Cornhuskers decide to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Slips through the line. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. That's reeled in. It's Johnson. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. To throw, it's McNamara. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. 
The game plan was to come in and throw the football and to attack this defense vertically down the field. I'd say they've done just that. This QB now has close to 500 passing yards. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Got to give this defense a lot of credit because even down to the last seconds of this football game, we're seeing outstanding effort. QB taking a shot down the middle of the field. There's a defender swatting it away. They have had this quarterback's number all game long, and that's why they're winning this game. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires to the big fella. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. you got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. On target over the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards past. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And here comes the field goal unit. Field goal is good. And in the waning seconds of the game, they tie it up. Wow, and with that field goal with so little time left here in the game, it looks like this thing's going to OT. You have to give that young guy so much credit. He had the weight of the world on his shoulders, and he's able to knock it through. He's still got some football left here, fellas. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. So here comes our first play of overtime. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Looking to throw on second down. Got it on the outside, it's Gill. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down and bounds. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Nowhere to go with the ball and down. He goes at the 39. 
Great job by the pass rush up front. Third and long situation. They're anticipating pass, and they know the quarterback's going to have to hold on to the football. Nice job pinning their ears back and getting home. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. From 56 yards out, what a power leg. Never a doubt about that one. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. Down by three. It's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. He'll come out throwing on first down. Finds his man. It's Fidel. And that is good versatility there. And a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. This crowd knows when to bring it. Back to pass. It's Rayola. Got his man quickly. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Nice job by the fullback on that play. Was in pass protection first. He saw he could release out of the backfield, become a viable target for the quarterback, and gains a couple yards. Huge third down here. A field goal will send us to another overtime, but a touchdown would win it. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Quick strike complete. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open, and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback getting rid of the football, getting the first down, now set up first and goal. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He caught it, and he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the 2. Nice, solid completion there. Hit him on the slant. Yeah, and a nice route in the slot, too, by that receiver. Great job putting his foot in the ground, crossing the face of the defender, and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. Now second and goal, and right in the teeth of this noise. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. He got it in, and the celebration is on. A walk-off touchdown in OT. And he's in for his third rushing touchdown. You college fantasy football players, that is what you want to see. Plus six, plus six, plus six. Let's go.